You have implemented a simple RESTful resource using the JAX RS API and ran it with Jersey as our web services stack. In this lecture, you will use the JAX RS client API and will consume that RESTful web service by using JAX RS on the client side or by using Jersey on the client side as well. To do that, grab this URL from here so that we can use it in our Java client. Go to Eclipse. Go to Java resources in the project. We can create a new package. Let's call it com.barat.trainings.jersey.client. You can call it whatever package name you want. In here, let's create a new client class, simple Java class. Let's call it my client. Keep it simple. Finish. Main. In the main method, we'll be using the JaxRS client API. Client builder dot new client. First create a client object. So you can apply all your skill that you have already learned in the previous sections here. Let's simply call it client client dot target this is where we give the link dot request dot get and we know what it returns it returns a string response so we are going to provide it as string you can directly assign it to a string variable result and display the result on the console. Right click, run as Java application. As you can see, we got the response and it's displayed on the console. The server should be up and running. So to for the client to run. If you see all the Maven dependencies are under the deployed resources or under the uh, dependencies section here or under the libraries here you can see that it has transitively pulled all the dependencies it needs right now when you run this client it internally uses the jersey client jar which is here all the classes here will be used because all we are using here is are really the jax rs interfaces it will dynamically when you say this new client will dynamically use the classes from within here by using the service provider mechanism. Everything you have learned in from the previous sections like asynchronous clients, all the restful knowledge you have now can be applied by simply switching the pom.xml and the web.xml.